Hello. Today we have a Sony Vaio laptop um, that uh, is powering up without uh, showing anything to the screen. So let's check. I have removed the disk out of the laptop just for safety. We have the original Sony Vaio charger here. Let's measure it. Sorry, the charger is not plugged. All right. Let's check the charger. And we have 19 volts on the charger. All right. Let's plug the laptop. power up we see a green light here we see an orange light in front and nothing on the screen all right this one has an ATI Radeon graphics card Intel Core i3 Windows 7, it's an old computer. Let's try to plug the disk and show you something. Okay, the disk is inside. Plug the power cord again. And let's, let's turn it on. Okay. It powers up. Nothing on the screen, blank. The LED power is on. No reaction, nothing. Nothing. Okay, the fan started making some noise and check the disk LED. Can you see this orange light here? The disk is loading windows. That means that we have a problem with the Radeon graphics card. Okay, let's turn off the computer. This is a common issue on this specific generation of cards that had uh, uh, a problem. It was a, a bad batch of uh, chips. The correct way to go with this one is to replace the motherboard with a new one because the chip is actually soldered on the PCB. You cannot remove the chip. Unless you have the equipment, you can source the chip, you can find the chip. And uh, you need to have a special equipment to desolder the chip from the PCB and solder a new one in order to correct the problem. Some people just remove the chip and reball it. Just clean the old solder balls from the chip and put new ones and solder it back again. But this specific problem is not the balls of the chip. It's inside the chip. The, the silicon of the chip has some tiny connections and these connections inside break. And... Uh, even if you reball re the chip with new solder balls, the only thing you're going to do is actually hit the chip and fix the inside connection of the chip. Not the, it's not a problem of the balls. So the only way, the, the correct way and the proper way to do this is to replace the chip with a new one. 
which is very difficult to find a new chip. So you have to charge it to the customer. You have to uh, order it and wait a couple of weeks for this chip to arrive. And uh, this is a problem, actually. This is a very big problem. So the way we go with this job, the easiest way to go, and I will tell you what are the advantages and disadvantages of this specific procedure, is to reflow the chip. The reflow procedure is we have to heat up the chip in a specific temperature for a specific time. So this, these joints that have been broken inside the chip will fix with the heat again. These tiny joints inside the silicon which lead up to the balls on the back surface of the chip will cut up again. So the chip will work for a limited period of time. It's likely going to work. It's 97, it's 95% uh, sure that this method works. The problem is that the chip is going to have the same problem again in a specific uh, amount of time. We cannot define in how long it will last, but at least we know it's going to work for, for uh, some time. So we have to notify the customer about this, that this is a risk, that he's gonna, we're going to do the reflow. The laptop, 95%, it's going to work. But it's not going to work forever. It's going to last one month, one week, three months, six months. We never know how long it's going to last. I've done this specific procedure to customers that they didn't bother me for at least one year. There are some other customers that bother me after one week. Uh, the charge for this specific job is not very high. The, the only thing you have to do is disassemble the laptop, remove the motherboard outside of the, of the case, and just do a simple reflow of the chip. And the extra step I'm doing here is just add some uh, copper plates below the heatsink so to actually make the heatsink stronger so the heat can be absorbed more evenly and so this uh, fix lasts more that's what i'm gonna do so let's disassemble the laptop and i'll show you the whole procedure okay let's go Okay, this is the motherboard. Let's continue the procedure. We have to remove the motherboard. Here is the CPU. Here is the GPU. This is the one we have to reflow. So we have to remove everything from the motherboard in order to be able to do the job. Let's continue. So we finally disassembled the board outside of the box of the casing. 
So let's prepare the board for the reflow. We're going to clean the GPU, remove the battery to protect it from heat. So let's clean the GPU a little bit. Right. Let's remove the battery. All right. Let's also remove the RAM. And we will prepare the board. We will put an insulation, uh, aluminium paper, um, outside of this chip to protect the capacitors and all the chips in this area and we'll reflow the chip. I'll be back. All right. We have protected as much as we can the surrounding area of the chip. Some plastic connectors here, the CPUs, the memory modules, everything is protected. So we're going to use the heat gun, a strong heat gun, 200, 2000 watts heat gun from a distance at least 20 centimeters away from the chip. We're going to monitor the temperature with a temperature monitor uh, infrared uh, tool. And uh, let's proceed. And that's okay. The temperature reached 180 degrees. The smoke you see here is from the burning uh, electrical tape. It's not anything dangerous. So we have to wait for the motherboard to cool down and we will reassemble again and test. All right. We finished with the reflow of the chip. So let's, let's uh, reassemble the board back to the casing and uh, test. Okay, so let's go install the battery back to the board. The extra step we have done here is actually 
as you can see on this hitching, we have uh, cut a small piece of copper. So we will install this extra copper plate on top of the chip and then on top of this copper plate will be installed the hitching. So we will have a very firm connection between the hitching and the chip. We'll put some silver thermal paste here on the CPU to renew this one. Some on the GPU on top of it we will put the copper plate and on top of this some more paste all right that's enough All right, let's put the keyboard, not permanently, just for the testing. All right, everything is good. Okay, so I think we can put back, back the memories and test to see if we have an image. Okay. So let's do it. Power supply. And power up. The LED turns on and we have a picture. No operating system found because there is no disk. So I will finish the assembly of the laptop and I will be back again soon. So the laptop is uh, back together, everything is assembled. Let's power up. All right, start Windows normally. And the Windows is starting and the laptop is working as usual. Now, that, that, that was the job of uh, VGA Reflow. This, uh, this job is actually a success 95% all the time. The thing is that this laptop is going to come back again after a while. It depends on uh, the use and the... It's actually luck completely total luck how soon it will come back the thing is that this customer doesn't need this laptop anymore the only thing he wanted was to work on a project he was working and he has to deliver that's what he told me and he was willing to pay the the repair fee in order to have a laptop for a week so that's what we did we just reflow the laptop so the customer will be able to work for a week and we have a working laptop. I think uh, this video was useful. If you like this video, click like and subscribe. It helps us a lot. So we'll be back on the next one. See you.